So here, what it says, score of uh, web driver automation framework. Without proper design, your test may look like the image below. If you don't think and you know without any design, you may end up by saying login test, product test, add to cart test, checkout test, checkout test payment, checkout test shipment, payment test, and payment test, and etc. It may be possible that the things which you are using here might can be used in product test as well. It might be possible that whatever the things which you are doing here can be used in add to cart as well. So these are the things which we are going to use now like this. See this. So with page object, you are creating one object for sign in page, product list one object, cart one object, shipment one object, payment one object, order one object. When you are using the login test, when you are creating select product test, it might be using sign-in page objects as well as product list object. So it may be possible, like I have shown you just now in the uh, Trivago, in that we were using multiple pages, multiple page objects, and we were coming up with the test case. And that's what it is showing us in a comfort diagram. If you want, you can go through with that, but this is how we will be going to write our automation framework and that's what it states consideration whenever you create page object design always consider these few things always create a class for every web page create a class for every web page web page elements web page elements are instance variables of page object class of type web element so what it's saying that whatever the elements you will be going to write in that are always instance are always instance variable. We will be going to do that. Service page would include sign in page, add to cart, which becomes a method in page object class. So there will be services pages where you may see sign in page, add to cart page, add to cart query functionality or methods, I will say. And then at the last, we have written in test, you create object of page object class and call the methods. So let's go. Two, three more slides there are. We'll go through that and we'll see. Design pattern test does not have any technical code to communicate with the with the browser, so test will not have any technical code. Okay, make sure that that whatever you are writing technically, you will be writing in the pages. Test call page objects and verifies the result. Test is more readable. Like I have shown you, it was more readable form. Test object do not verify page load. We don't verify whether the page loaded or not. Okay but they communicate with the browser. These are the syntaxes what I have mentioned here. If you see here, uh, they are using wait.until. No, that is again also a method, so you can ignore it again. Mm, okay, let's just take a look at this because all these syntaxes is what we are going to see after the break, but let's take a look. These are the best practices one can follow to make design robust and maintainable. Create one page object class for each web page. Create one page object class for each web page. Okay, we'll be doing that. Each page object method should either return the object on that page or should return the page object of the next page. So we'll see uh, is, uh, this is what we call as in the layman language linking between the classes. Linking between the classes. Each page object should self validate whether the page is fully loaded before giving control to the next step. Any data used by the page object should be passed through test and should not be hard coded. So now will not be hard coding anything. And that's what here it is showing us a very small example with the page object BMI calculator and the test. And here again. But let me just create an architecture of the framework and then we will see how the things will be going to execute. This is my test. I'll be going to create a few packages inside it and I'll be going to tell you about each package. Everyone has a different way to define it and this is how I always define. Some people say it as page package but I call it as core package. This core package, in this core package, I'll be going to initialize all my elements. In this, this is the heart of the package. If something goes wrong in this package, in this, whatever I will define in this package, if something goes wrong in that, 
nothing will get executed nothing will be executed second package this is the package i am going to call it as pages pages is here we'll be going to create all our pages means all our classes for web pages so all the pages are maintained right here another package we'll call it as test cases here i'll keeping all my test cases another package util here i i'll be keeping all my utilities another package config here i'll be keeping all my configuration files another package logs here i'll be generating all my logs related to my project a new folder uh let's do one thing instead of creating a folder let's use utilize the resources and let's put here one folder by the name of drivers so all our firefox chrome i drivers will be placed at this location one more folder test data excel sheet or whatever test data you are using you'll be putting your test data right at this location one more folder the screenshots let's set the project level so all the screenshots will be maintained in this folder and this is the architecture of my framework which will I, i'll be going to create hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here